Hi there, I'm Christy Paul, an anchor for CNN's HLN and True TV's In Session. And while I'm in front of the camera professionally, uh, there was something that I tried to conceal about my personal life for a long time. Years ago, I was in a very verbally abusive marriage. And, and I'll be honest, it just about broke me. I felt so worthless and so weak. And I know some of you know what it's like, whether it's abuse by a spouse or a parent or a friend or even a coworker. I mean, no one's immune. I'm remarried now with three daughters, but I'm not fool enough to think that this won't happen to them at some point. In fact, a recent study shows 43% of college-aged women admitted they've experienced violent or abusive behavior in their dating life. And keep in mind, domestic abuse isn't limited to women. I mean, men have been victimized too. My faith was a big part of my survival, and that's just part of why I wrote Love Isn't Supposed to Hurt. And I want to tell you, this is not a woe is me kind of story. This is a, all right, sister, listen up. Let's talk about this. That's, that's what kind of book it is. And it, it was hard to admit some of the things that I reveal, but I wanted to share this to prove to you that you're not alone, that you're stronger than you think you are, and second chances do exist once you allow yourself to believe it. And I'm living proof of that. I'm not special. They can exist for everyone. So I've detailed what I went through, as well as some pretty unconventional therapy to help us learn to value ourselves again, whether someone else out there is ever going to value us or not. In fact, there's an exercise in this book that really mirrors my own therapy, so you can do it yourself. It's really interactive. Uh, but the thing is, you have it in you to overcome what you're living with now or have lived with in the past, and at the end of the day, I hope you find hope in this story and the methods of healing that I talk about because you need to know that whatever you've done or wherever you've been, it doesn't matter because love is not supposed to hurt and no one deserves to be abused.